Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten so, land. Normally in Souls tradition, if there's a poison area and it's really bad, there's a piece of equipment in that area that will help you weather the storm. Is that a shard you but here to see light? I haven't found however it. However, and poison is so dangerous. I haven't found anybody that sells a, a way to fight against it either. Except for Gavlan, and I don't know where he is. How many shards have I got? Shit. Oh. That tiny thing inside the ruins. An ancient being that will mock your very existence. What tiny thing? She imparts sound wisdom. Provided you find her on a good day. Ooh. Who's that? Oh, it's her! She looks awful! Oh, there you are. I'm here in Medulla, thanks entirely to you. Design your own... You even were kind enough to... Character. <laughs> Thank you so very much. She looks like a twat. The only thing I can offer is pyromancy. Oh, great. And I don't do pyromancy. This might be a perfect time to do it. <laughs> Because I already have some good pyromancy spells. Give a quick. Why would I want to give you stuff? It was a perilous trek across the mountains. I faced the most frightful things. Really? What way? <laughs> the number of times I nearly died. <laughs> Well, you must be better than me then, because I've died a lot. Perilous trek across the... I... <laughs> okay, she's useless. We've just saved... Useless person. Yay! You've been long... Well... I was born in a land... Uh, yeah, there yeah, great repeating person. dialogue, thank you. Helps me a lot, that does. I knew you'd be around soon. Go on. You'll need souls. Yes. I know. Of. Don't we? My wit. Ah, oh, fuck off. All right, let's have a look what we've got here. So we've got enough chunks to do our sword up to plus nine. Might be able to put it to plus ten because I've got a slab. And then we might be able to change it to something that's really good. Ooh, that upgrades with Twinkling Titanite. But it doesn't have scaling. And that's a bad thing. But can we farm Twink? If we can farm Twinkling Titanite, and we should be able to, because that's kind of how these games work, it could be really useful. Because I do like it as well. That's the important thing. I like it. But this is what I want. I want my shield up, but I don't know if I'm upgrading a really expensive needless shield, because I feel like I probably am. The most I can do with that is it twice. And two more upgrades on that are probably going to make it beast, but I'll go with the shield. The shield is, is most important. Get that stability up. Then we'll do this to level 9. And we do have a slab. Interesting. So, why not? probably an achievement now I've got a weapon plus 10 maybe when I talk to her she'll be like you've mastered you know making shit here's an awesome making shit thing stones you might be surprised ah, I might be surprised I want to slap her that's what I want to do what yes I've got a plus 10 weapon I was born at now let me use stones Fuck you. I hate you she does nothing. Since you literally do Check. nothing. I want to kill you. Mind your manners. Bitch. Opera. Does nothing at all. Yep. No interest. She's a waste of space, sir. The game has got these arbitrary barriers on letting you get strong, and I don't like it at all. And I, I assume it's to try and stop people twinking, maybe. I'm glad to see. Or for game balance. But it just don't get I it. I considered returning to my homeland, 
but I've decided to stay a while longer. I've started to turn a handsome profit now. Oh, so you're getting greedy, yeah? Returning to... I've started to turn... Hey, you're not selling out no, though, are you? I'll buy those, because I really like those trousers. But they're a starting Thanks class, which is much. why I've not worn them. Do come again. All right, see what the cat wants. I want to break that door. Oh, you're there. Oh. <laughs> you do have a rap the type I This place is fascinating. We receive only the most Oh, this is all she says. She literally says nothing. Nothing suited you, I presume. Um... Fuck, stop talking! God, talk through walls, these mouthy sods. So my weapon now is 320 damage. Which is okay, I guess. It's not life-changing. I would like a 500 damage if I could. 600 would be good. 700 would just be taking it a little bit too far, but I'd like one. Does this do anything? Do we get anything for doing what we're doing here? Anything at all? No. I'm really disappointed with this covenant so far. The difficulty thing's cool, but the the incentive and rewards are stupid. You know, why would they put PvP rewards on a PvE covenant? It just seems like a, a stupid thing to do. Um, let's talk to the guy with the big sword who was sat outside the place that we've just opened up. Because maybe... Now we've opened it, he might talk to me. And if he doesn't talk to me, we'll kill him. And we'll take his big sword. I want to go down that pit in Majula, but I don't really understand how. Clear the way. You doing, Lizard? Yep. Aye. I didn't think you had it in you, pal. No, no, no. I still like it sounds, you know. It was a place and some prize, that's all. Name's Ben Hart. Thanks to you, I can resume my journey. If we share the same path, I'm sure that we are going to meet again. I kind of wish I'd have done this before I went in. I'll repay my debt to you in battle. I swear it by my sword. He must be a summon. The road ahead's going to be long. But I'm... I... It's a true man who... Ought, I swear it. Oh. Joy gesture. I... It's a true man. I swear it. So I'm going to hit this bonfire in the next room. I might die because the next room is a bullshit trap. It's not the next room, it's this room. Oh yeah, I died. This is just really, really bad, this this idea. And I survived it the first time by intelligently moving and not trying to attack, but I thought perhaps I might be able to kill them. I was wrong. That's frustrating, but I guess I get what I weep. That's a terrible room. It's a troll room. And I don't know how many souls I had, but you know, it's how my ring didn't go off. Whatever the ring is, not impressed so far. Could have saved me then, could have killed everybody in that room. But instead I just got gangbanged. He's moved though, which is what we wanted, I guess.
I didn't have that many souls at all. I don't know why I did this. Should have just left the boogers. Oh, it took me out of my menu. Well, might as well walk to some of them bonfires, see if he's, he's any further forward. It looks like I've found everywhere. There's just two more areas. Bottom two places. Which makes the game feel uh, just a touch smaller than it did before. That being said, I, I just don't feel like I've done much, even though I've been playing for like 15 hours. So we can two-shot these now. Didn't help me in that other room though, did it? <laughs> so we'll go this way. And we'll see if he's down here. Who shot him for some reason? Maybe something to do with counter damage, direct damage, some kind of damage. What we could try as well is we could try and get to on on Steam through all the crazy uh, traps and stuff, the zombies, and the giant sentinels, and the people. Pretty much the worst parts of the Bible. Oh, Alright, I'm This literally must be when you've got proof of the king. Because it doesn't seem to do anything but reinforce this relic we need. The Shrine of Winter. Well, what if you can get up there? It's a pretty big bridge. We'll go and check on our buddy, the headman. Just to see if maybe that's where the Barnhart was, or whatever his name is. I wonder if I could summon him against the the rat boss. But I think you can't summon in the company of champions. I think that's one of the, the difficulty adjustments. Because I haven't seen any signs. I haven't even seen the NPC signs. Well, he's not here. So I think there's two places that are left. One is called Black Gulch, which is, I think, the new Blight Town. And then the other one is a place, I think, called the Iron Keep. If I had to guess, that would be the two squares at the bottom of the map. But where does that leave the, the area where all the dragons are? And the king's place? And I don't know, actually. I could be thinking about it all wrong. Back again? No, he's not here then. It's just you. I was born in Ferrol. Yep. 
I get it. Fell. Lightning damage. I will retire. I will talk and stop you using items. For such is my banquet in life. So we've got two bosses that are a status ailment here. We've got the gargoyles and we've got the flooded area. I might go back to the flooded area once I've, once I've done hide. Or at least attempted hide, because hide is very difficult. It is now New Game Plus, Bonfire Intensity 2. And bonfire Intensity 2 is significantly more challenging than 1. Not only does it add enemies, but it adds phantoms. And the enemies there will pretty much kill me instantly. They've also got a lot of life, so they take a big beating. But my sword is better now, so maybe they'll be a little bit quicker to get through them. And a little bit more fun to watch. So, this guy is pretty simple. But, he still takes a massive beating. And he drops cracked blue eye orbs. I'm curious if I can run this. So the first thing that I'm gonna fall off. Ooh, that was wicked close, and I'm should have been dead. But directly where the Dragon Rider boss is in front of me, you see the the Sentinel that's got the big sword. Next to him was a phantom, a red phantom of a guy wearing some pretty. Wow. That last swing just saved my life. But and the guy there who was stood next to him had a, a lance, an actual jousting lance. It was really, really funny. And he was tough as hell because he was really fast and he kept doing running attacks with it like the pike. But look, did you see up there, there's a mace guy next to the sword guy, bang where Ornstein's door is. He wasn't there before. Uh, also, this area had an extra dude in that room with a mace. So there's more mace people on New Game Plus. I think once I've killed this guy, I'm going to attempt to run to the fog door. It could be a mistake, and if I die, uh, I'll just probably not attempt uh, this area. Because we've already seen it a few times. I'm all about trying to, to make progress as much as this stuff is really interesting to do. And horizontal? Yeah. Not too bad in. Oh. It aggroes his friend, doesn't it? I forgot about that. Not to worry. This might actually help us because they might fall off. And if they fall off, it does our job for us. And the question is. How damaging is... Oh, do you see the red guy up there? I don't need to tell anybody that that's obviously new. And it's just an NPC with gear. And it, the gear seems to be kind of random. Look, you'll notice... Yeah. These guys look very similar to the NPC I killed. The Brotherhood of the Blue. 